welcome to my kitchen. It is the 2nd of December. It's not when you watch this video, but it is when I film this. December is a very busy month and for various reasons, mostly anxiety, I will not be going food shopping again until the new year. So this shop is to cover us for the next few weeks. It's also to cover us for a big family party, which is why it cost me £179 and four pence. But it is to last us a long time, so, you know, if you divide that by the number of weeks, yeah, whatever. Okay. So I did get a big Sainsbury's order delivered today. The delivery guy was amazing. And actually they did do quite a few substitutions, but they weren't bad. So we'll work through everything that we got and a bit of a meal plan. Some of this will make a little bit more sense if you bear in mind that the Christmas party I'm hosting in a couple of days is Mexican themed. So I'm going to be making vegetarian chili. I'm going to be making nachos. There's going to be sweet corn. There's going to be guacamole. There's going to be all that stuff. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not your traditional British Christmas fair. <laughs> so let's start with the frozen stuff so I can get that away. Um, bearing in mind, most of this is sort of party food. So this is gone by tomorrow. This is absolutely gone. Uh, sprouts, hopefully, will last us till Christmas. Sprouts freeze really well. Um, it makes more sense to me to get them from the freezer section because they are already processed. So, quite chuffed with those. I have two bags of mini corn on the cobs there for the party tomorrow. Put some broccoli in, some mixed vegetables. Um, whole leaf baby spinach. They come in like, it's like little hockey pucks and they're brilliant for throwing in everything to add extra veg in. So uh, I'm quite pleased I've got those. We've got somebody coming to the party tomorrow who is very fussy eater, no judgment here. She just, she won't eat anything that I'm cooking and has asked for one of these. That is absolutely fine. So we've got her a rather posh pizza. And then we've got some chips, always good to have in. It's always really difficult to find chips that aren't coated in wheat. You can't get them at Aldi, or at least I've never been able to see them at Aldi, so there we go. Some streaky bacon. I'd initially thought I was gonna have to make my own pigs in blankets this year, so I think that's why this found its way into the basket. I've actually found pigs in blankets, so I will use that bacon for something else. Two loaves of gluten-free bread. Yes, gluten-free bread comes in tiny loaves, but it's really expensive. Uh, so those will go in the freezer too. I think I've gone a little bit nuts with the cereal, but again, this is to last us from the 2nd of December through till the new year. Um, this is all stuff for my husband and my daughter. Obviously the sweetened stuff like the honey um, hooplas, uh, non-generic branded Cheerio type things. There you are for my husband rather than my daughter. She will definitely eat these. I'd asked for the 48 pack. They substituted with the 24. I wish they'd substituted with two of the 24s because she goes through these like you wouldn't believe. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. That's absolutely fine. Got some cornflakes, some plain generic non-branded hoops, uh, plain generic non-branded shreddy type biscuits. <laughs> cereal things um, and for me I've got quite a few bags of porridge oats in but I, I eat porridge pretty much every day in some form or another so those are for me. Idris you are unhelpful. At the back we've got some Cronenberg for the party tomorrow for my husband and my brother-in-law will probably drink that as well the rest of the people coming aren't really beer drinkers some almond milk to top up what's in the cupboard so I've got enough for the month. These are for me, I'm obsessed with mango Rubicon. I like the lychee one as well, but you hardly ever see that in shops. When I was pregnant with Freya, I went through several packs of this week, but I've been better about avoiding the sugary drinks this time around. Um, Caffeine-free diet Coke. It's caffeine-free, sugar-free, joy-free. It is what it is. That's for me as well. Some tonic water in the back. That's also for me. Does anyone else just enjoy drinking plain tonic water by itself? I prefer the gin, but clearly not an option at the moment. To my horror, I realised that in the cupboard, I've got like six jars of decaf coffee and 
only one jar of proper coffee left. And that's just no way to live your life. So I did get this massive tub. This used to be six pounds something, but it's gone up to seven pounds 50, but it's, I mean, I'm not happy about the price increase, obviously, but it's, how much is in here? 500 grams, which it reckons is 700, sorry, 278 servings. Oddly specific amount. And so hopefully that should last us a good few weeks. Got another bag of gluten-free pasta, always handy to have in. Risotto rice is a great one because although it's slightly more expensive initially than sort of standard basmati or long grain rice, you can really stretch meals with it. So that goes really well. Some chocolate chips so we can do some holiday baking with Freya. Just baking in general, not necessarily Christmas themed, just cake themed. These are for my dad and I tomorrow for our pudding at the party because yes, celiac disease is genetic. At least there's some evidence that it is. And likewise, I've got two boxes of gluten-free mince pies and two boxes of the normal mince pies. I did consider going all out and getting the fancy buttery, you know, special ones, but they're gone in 30 seconds and a mince pie is a mince pie. Although, tell me in the comments, do you think it's worth paying extra for the super special fancy ones? I, I don't know. Hmm. I've got some tortilla chips. I'm going to do some cheesy nachos as a side for dinner tomorrow. Three bags of prawn crackers. This is because for tomorrow lunch before party shenanigans kick off, I've got to do lunch for my parents. And I'm going to do Chinese takeaway style at chicken and sweet corn soup. So I'll have prawn crackers on the side for that. In terms of fresh fruit and veggies, I know that we're going to have to go and top this up partway through the month. But that sounds like a problem for Ed. So I got some carrots, courgettes. These will mostly get eaten by the world's grumpiest tortoise. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, madam. Oh dear. She's wasting away. Some sweet potatoes. Very green bananas. Also very small bananas. Tiny, tiny green bananas. Celery, the last of my celery is looking a little bit sad in the cupboard. I've finally gotten to the bottom of the 10,000 potatoes I actually bought, <laughs> accidentally bought last month. So I've got those. Got some kale to go in various bits and bobs. I made cauliflower cheese soup last month and it was amazing. It was the first time I'd made it and Freya absolutely loved it. She kept asking for more. She'd eat like two bowls of it every time I served it. So making a double batch this time around, not being caught short on that again. Got some peppers to go my chilli tomorrow, spring onions. Did get a nice honeydew melon, um, which uh, does not feel very ripe at this point, but okay. Got some satsumas, lovely butternut squash. Butternut squash is always a, a good thing to get in if you're not planning on going to the shops for a while because this will last over a month in the fridge, easy. So that'll be something for the end of the month. And I've got some pears for the fruit bowl and some apples. I probably should have got more apples, but I feel like this shop was big enough as is. Got some blueberries for my daughter. She does love blueberries. So far, the only sign I've seen of this sort of great British egg shortage is that I don't seem to be able to find large eggs anywhere, just medium ones. And I'm not sure why that would be, but oh well, we've got 12 medium eggs. That should keep us going for a little while. Got some sour cream to go uh, alongside at the party food tomorrow. Uh, some of these little yogurts, these are super overpriced to be perfectly honest. 
the £1.75 for those three tiny yogurts. Normally I would buy the Aldi version, they're much, much cheaper and Freya likes them just as much. But then she also likes just plain yogurt as well, so I don't know why I bother with these when she eats this along with me. I do like to just get a huge, great big thing of yogurt and then I have that either as a snack or for breakfast with fruit and honey on it. So maybe I should just stop buying the little ones and keep buying the big ones. Guacamole obviously is to go with a Mexican themed dinner tomorrow. I've got two punnets of it because there are going to be a lot of people. To get some more olive spread for me, I prefer a dairy free spread. It's just personal preference. And Ed, I've treated him to brand name spread. Look at that. I never get brand name spread, but it was on offer. It was on offer for £1.75. So I did grab him that. He ran out of spread the other day and he was unreasonably upset about that fact because he wanted toast. Um, I've got a big thing of milk, a four pointer of milk. I've got custard slices. I've got a couple of dessert options for people tomorrow because I don't know what everyone's going to want. So I've got four custard slices. I need to get those in the fridge, don't I? And then I've also got, if I skip over here for a moment, a Taste the Difference coffee and walnut cake. This is slightly smaller than I was expecting, but I think that's on me because it was only two pounds for what looks to me to be quite a nice cake, um, but it apparently only serves six. So I'm hoping between that, two boxes of mince pies and four custard slices, we'll be all right. We scoot back over here. Uh, I've got two things of hair dye. These were on offer for five pounds fifty each. I'm planning on bleaching all the blue out of my hair and bleaching my badger coloured roots. Uh, my hair is naturally very very dark with great big white streaks in it, and going purple in the new year. So that'll be a little project. Then, and I also did grab some primer as well because I don't want to go to Boots or Superdrug or anywhere. So I just grabbed that. Does anyone else have a toddler who goes through toothbrushes like no tomorrow? Which is good because she's brushing her teeth and she certainly, we do it with some enthusiasm. But I do have to buy new toothbrushes every sort of maybe eight weeks as opposed to every three months at uh, 12 weeks. Is it 12 weeks they normally say? Anyway, we buy our new toothbrushes very regularly. It's not Christmas without dates. One of these was a substitute. I suspect the organic ones. It would be unlike me to pay the extra for organic knowingly. I'm gonna make some paella at some point this month. So I got a spicy chorizo ring. Did not mean to buy more garlic granules. I have a lot of garlic granules now. I, that must have been left over in my basket from a previous shopping attempt. But hey, I will use them. That will take me no time at all to go through. Likewise, smoked paprika. I did choose to pay a little bit extra and get a nice big tub because it works out cheaper per gram. And I'm going to need a lot of paprika, especially tomorrow. Saffron is, of course, one of the most expensive substances in the world. Not just food-wise, but sort of precious metal-wise, etc. This was £2.75 for 0 0.4 grams, but... I'm going to make a nice big paella probably around New Year's and it's not really paella without saffron so that is definitely a treat. Got some coconut milk because I only have a couple of uh, tins of it and I use it quite a lot so I to grab that. Got some mild salsa, two jars of that ready for party tomorrow. I did pick up some plain naans for Ed and Freya and some gluten-free ones for me. They keep being out of plain ones. It's basically garlic and coriander or nothing. So it's a good job that I like garlic and coriander. Some gluten-free soy sauce. I grabbed this, I don't necessarily need it. I have a couple of bottles of soy sauce in the cupboard, but when I saw they had it in, the Kiko brand, I think it's Kiko, one that most supermarkets have in the gluten-free range, isn't the best quality. It's fine, but it's kind of bland. So I thought this is a different brand that also happens to be gluten free. We'll try it and see if it's any better. Uh, Henderson's Relish is basically a gluten free version of Worcestershire sauce. 
Uh, please murder me in the comments if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but I think I've always called it Worcestershire sauce. Uh, so I did buy two bowls of that because they don't always have it in stock. It literally lasts for years and years and years. Excuse my dishwasher having a moment there. So it's really handy to have in. And it is one of my secret ingredients in my chili that I'm going to be making tomorrow. Sesame oil, I need that for my chicken and sweet corn soup tomorrow. I use it in cooking a lot and I ran out last week. So that was a panic. Barbecue sauce. I'm going to use the last of the bottle we currently have open tomorrow making barbecue pulled pork in the slow cooker. So I did need to pick up another bottle to replace that. And that's it. I say that's it. I mean, look at the state of my kitchen. Ugh. So hopefully we have enough that we are going to be okay just doing the odd top up shop for fresh fruit and veg and milk here and there. Let me know what your game plan is for food shopping towards Christmas. Are you somebody who is perfectly comfortable going into the shops on Christmas Eve and getting your elbows out and battling away to get the last turkey on the shelf? Or do you prefer to have everything stocked up beforehand so you can just chill out with a sherry and a mince pie? Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.